Today's conversation is on affirmations versus auto-suggestion. I'll touch on when it is important to focus on one over the other, and what the actual differences are between the two. So first we have auto-suggestion. Think, what is it about your days that you are suggesting to be true in regards to yourself? What assumptions are you making about how you operate in relation to people, to environments, circumstances, and information, etc.? Is what you're feeling accurate and true to who you know yourself to be? Affirmations, on the other hand, are statements. You are affirming some characteristic, trait, or quality to be true to the point where they are considered to be truthful. I want to make a clear distinction between true versus truth. True statements are dependent on context. Right now, it is true to say that I am out in nature recording a video. However, when I go to sleep tonight, it will not be true to say that I am out in nature recording a video. Truth, however, is true regardless of the context, and this is an important distinction. You want to speak these affirmations into your subconscious mind to the point where they are known to be truthful. Therefore, you're able to act upon them in ways that feel akin to flow. An example is, I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, and I am full of love. Now yes, it may be true that when I say these affirmations, I feel them to be true in the moment. However, the point of affirming the statements through auto-suggestion is so, <clears throat> excuse me, when the circumstances arise in my daily life, I will begin effortlessly flowing towards the state desired, <clears throat> which in this case is health, wealth, and an abundance of love. And in other words, by saying I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, and I am full of love to myself day in and day out, <clears throat> The more so each day, I am naturally thinking in ways that are aligned with health, with wealth, and with an abundance of love. And by thinking in this way, I am feeling these statements to be true. And feeling is the motive behind behavior and actions, both consciously and subconsciously. By feeling these affirmations to be true, my actions and behaviors align with them. And therefore, in this five sense theater that plays out in our life, I'll begin to notice more so each day that those I, that I interact with will reflect the feelings I hold within. And with that, I'm turning these affirmed statements that I commit to being truthful beyond any context into ways of life in which my conscious and my subconscious mind thinks, feels, behaves, and radiates. And with that, I have no choice but to be aligned with these statements because the word is auto-suggestion, which means that I am suggesting to myself that this is who I am, this is who I wish to be, and therefore, this is who I have no choice but to be. In my thinking, more so each day, I will begin to recognize this harmonious state of mind that change in response to a catalyst. That catalyzing stimulus brings about thought patterns that are no longer in harmony with these affirmations that I'm auto-suggesting to myself. And as Joseph Rodriguez recommends, write these things down. Write down exactly what it is that is throwing you off course. Recognizing these states as they arise requires conscious presence. I'll save that topic for another video, but in short, you want to remain vigilant of how external people, environments, circumstances, and information presents itself in ways that lead you to no longer feel that feeling of, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> so to conclude, I'll recommend keeping your affirmations short, simple, and meaningful. Speak them into existence. Begin with the pattern of three, six, nine. Before you go to bed and as you wake up, Repeat to yourself a single statement, three times, six times, nine times, then imagine and dwell in the feeling of the state desired for at least nine seconds afterwards. With an example being, I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, and I am full of love. Repeat this three times, six times, then nine times, then choose an imagined state that you can simply close your eyes and feel to be true, involving the five senses and even the sixth sense of humor, <laughs> and feel it juice these feelings from your mind's eye and then open your eyes and go on about your day, because there's nothing else that you need to do beyond dwell in the state fulfilled. If you have any questions, drop them below. Thank you, thank you, thank you.